Ah, look that? at this beauty. Huh? Well, what does Scarface say? It's, it's a cream puff. It's a, yeah. This is a, a little later model, but the El Dorado is Tony's car from Scarface. Wow. And yeah. It, it's got the leopard skin. This doesn't, but Tony's car had the leopard yes. skin. Uh, of course. Yeah. And it's the wow. same era, basically, as Hunters. It's got a lot of your it, career wrapped oh, no, up in it. It's a beauty, you know? though, isn't it? It's Should insane. we take a I'm little spin? I'm not a big car man, but yeah, sure. I'm ready. You're not going to drive this, are you, Willie? Uh, I don't have a boat license, so maybe not. Uh oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, we're being towed? Oh, so I'm not supposed to say that. <laughs> OK. Wow. Give you a lift Thanks. home, Al? This is the strangest I've ever done. <laughs> this is it. This is the interview I've been living for. I like to be inconspicuous. <laughs> oh. Yes. Finally. Uh, this like reminds me. I used to play paddle tennis in order to get in get in shape. Mm -hmm. So I'm I was in on a on a team, paddle oh. tennis team, believe it or not. Two and two, and we had shirts. And on my shirt said Pacino across it, and behind me was my number. So I was living out in the outrigger. This is 20 years ago, easy, 25 years ago. So I got up in the morning, going out, going to play paddle tennis, you know, my tennis racket. And I come out of the thing with my shirt, and walking, and this little old lady with a little dog is walking. And she looks up, and she sees, she sees me. And she looks at my shirt, saying, Pacino across. And she says, oh, please. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> I said, oh, my God. Now she, so, of course, you know, the story is going to be, I saw him. He came out of the outfit. He actually has his name on his shirt. That's us right now, basically. Yeah. We got our name on the shirt. We're not getting any callers here. Nobody seems to... Uh, not yet. We're going to troll. Well, if this. this was New York, I think we'd get a lot. Oh, yeah. Well, we'd be stopped in time. traffic and people would be yelling at you. <laughs> but, you know, miraculously, the weather is with us here. It's pretty good. Yeah. I don't mind the winter weather out here. A little cooler. Yeah, winter here, anytime. <laughs> so are you a full-fledged West Coast guy now, even though you're a born New Yorker? No, that's not going to happen. No. Okay. I'll be back. You're here out of necessity. Well, I'll tell you something. That's what really is uh, telling. I have a rental. I don't own a house here. Oh, here? My kids oh. own a house with their mother. Okay. And I have a rental I've had for almost 20 years. And everyone says to me, what, what are you doing? I was I just going to well, no, say I'm, that. I'm, I'm going to be leaving soon. <laughs> There's a story here, isn't it? <laughs> It says a lot. 20 years later, no commitment, huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> you never thought, hey, maybe I'll buy the place from, from the landlord? Not even thought it. <laughs> the thought, just certain things repel me, you know. <laughs> Not that this town repels me, it doesn't. But the idea of buying a house says, I'm here. You know right. what I mean? There's a, it's too permanent. Too permanent. Yeah. So. Well, when you're ready to come back to New York, oh, we, I'm we'll so be waiting ready. for you. I'm so ready. But there's a lot of stuff going there on. You go. Hey, hi guys. Hi. hi. Nice seeing you. How We're, are you? I'm all right. We're making a film. Hey. Yeah. It's called <laughs> Willie and Al. <laughs> go see it. <laughs> so, he does The Irishman. He gets an Oscar nomination. Now he's parading around a convertible so everyone can see him. We should have a sticker on the side that says the How Irishman. How far does an old guy go? That's... How far will he go? How far will he go for an Oscar? Yes. This answers that question. Well, you know, this there far. is such a thing as, believe it or not, the Oscar campaign. I know. You never struck me as a big Oscar campaign no, guy. It, that never came to me. Uh, there's a story. I was in San Francisco performing, doing a play. I just received a no nomination for Scarface. So I was, right. So I was doing the play. I came out after a matinee, 
they had a lot of people out there, a lot of, I mean, so many, they even needed horses, all the police, you know. The mounted police. Mounted police. Yeah. So, and they were cheering, and I, and they had this Oscar for me, huge, for Scarface, they gave me the Oscar. <laughs> So I thought this was amazing, you know, I mean, really talk about something coming in and really, you know, easing the pain a little right. bit. So I put it in this little bag I was holding and we went to some local actor's bar or something. It was. So there were some tables and there were actors. This is a long time ago, of course. Sure. And I'm sitting there at the table and they're talking and, I'm talking, and then I decided, well, I'll, I'll do one of my, my things. And I just pulled out this Oscar people gave me, and I said, you see this? You see this? Talking about Oscars? I don't care. I got plenty of Oscars. <laughs> and, and you know the story's going to get out. It's all about these things. You know, I was in a place, and the, the f guy pulled out his Oscar. <laughs> You're getting Can a you reputation. Imagine? You get that kind of reputation. The T-shirt and the Oscar, yeah. you know? <laughs> That's a hell of a group in your category this year. Oh, God. Brad and Anthony Hopkins. Oh, and, wow. Does it get Tom Hanks? Tom Hanks, top to bottom. And Jonathan, is Jonathan up for it? Uh, Jonathan? I think he's in the best actor category. Oh, he's best actor? Yes. yes. But there's Anthony Hopkins? And Hopkins, yeah. Oh, my. But there you is no chance. What? You think there's, there's no, no chance? chance? Well, I think there's a small chance. Yeah. Uh, there's always a small chance. For any one of them, Joe Pesci, right. myself, right. Anthony Hopkins, Tom Hanks. Wow. But Brad Pitt. Brad, I think Brad is, is going to, I think he's going to get it. I hope he does. He's not there anymore. He sold it, baby. Oh, I love, I love you too. Bye. Take care, my man. Is that your life? People shouting at you? Yeah. <laughs> When I go out, that's why I, I walk around with this. Yeah. But as soon as they hear it, see, I'll put this on. So, but as soon as they hear the voice, right, it's over. Right. It seems to me on the celebrity scale, though, you've kept your life somewhat normal. I have. I know I have. It's it's been it was deliberate, of course. You know, you you just do it so much, but you you know it. You're recognized. Well, well, all, once on. you're exposed this way, you're recognized. And people, and today is a world of celebrity. And so it's... Uh, maybe you've just managed it better than some, you know? Maybe. Yeah, I, I didn't, I don't do much of <laughs> these things with you. So that's sort of over. This no, is the this end is of this, fine. by the way. <laughs> no. Oh, this is great. I love it. I mean, I'm, I've really got an appetite for one of these cars now. I know. I'm it's, kind of feeling this. Just the sh size of it. It's a little slow to respond, I will say. Is it? You hit yeah. the gas, and about three seconds oh, later, it wow. goes. <laughs> That's good to know, Willie. <laughs> no, it is true. I have stayed out of the limelight because I always thought actors should be seen but not heard. Yes. That was a thought. A lot of yes. actors should be heard. they got something to say. You know, it's wonderful what they do. But I've never been that type. I just steered away from it. I feel like it helps with longevity, too. It does. Because you're not seen as some celebrity yeah, object that exactly. flames out. Exactly. I think that was the thing with Marlon, too. Like he used to say, Brando, I'm not a celebrity. I don't want to be a celebrity. But you are. Yeah. You, 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 you can't help it. It's there. It's, there's a place there that is, it's doomsday. Up here? Yeah. Well, no. wait, well, there's no traffic cop or anything. It's oh, an intersection oh, oh. that just is, You can't get through it. You, you, you have to just <laughs> close your eyes and just put your foot on the gas <laughs> and just go. Boy, you come from a New York winter where I came from oh. literally yesterday and you arrive here and you go, okay, I get it. You get it. I get it. You get it. That's, that's what it is. It's... Uh, here it is. This is it. Oh, God. You tell me. Oh, my God. Have you ever? They need, like, a rotary or something. See? Yeah, they, got, they will tell you. See? But this is, you got to go all the way that way that. sometime. When you're going that way. Oh, forget it. So what's between now, 
between the Irishman and Hunters and the potential Frank Lloyd Wright project? Well, it's a sort of, like I say, I'm doing that, um, I'm doing that. Uh, the reading. The reading. Yep. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's fun. There's a play that I've been looking at uh, that's pretty interesting about Tennessee Williams in mm. the last days, mm -hmm. which is interesting. I'm, uh, re they're rewriting it and stuff. There's a lot of that goes on. You know. yeah. It's what happened in Shakespeare's day with the actors. You know, like, Bill, I got nothing to do here. I'm going this way. What do you, well, he says, uh, well, well, to be or not to be? What do you think? <laughs> okay, that's a start. You were incredibly and famously well versed in the theater. Writers. Well, not compared to others. Works. But it, yeah, I, I, I'm somewhat versed. I, I mean, to me, you are, but maybe that's you, a layman's view, but you. you talk to Jonathan Lithgow. Right. Or, right. Or to. Uh, Anthony Hopkins. You know, Jonathan Price is the greatest Hamlet I ever saw. Is that right? I saw it in London. He's the he's the greatest I've seen. I didn't see uh, uh, Mark Rylance, who's mm -hmm. you know, one of the great Shakespeare right. actors. But I saw him. And he did what happens sometimes in Shakespeare. Where you're you're witnessing something in an audience, and you see how far it right. goes. Right. And Hamlet, his Hamlet. But you have to have the perspective to have seen a bunch of them, right? And the understanding yeah. of the part to know that that's yeah. special well, and great. Well, you know, the problem with seeing Shakespeare or, say, take a play like Hamlet, you don't really know Hamlet until you've experienced it many times. Read it over again, played in it, worked in it. There are things in Hamlet that, you know, you you can't possibly get on one viewing. I mean, it's just not, it's impossible to get it. Right. Things, it's all the nuance of it. In, in one speech, the nuance of things that you hear and you just say, oh my, that's it. What you learn, what you learn about life. So, uh, and it's amazing something that's been around for how many years now? 400 something? Yeah. You can still get something out of it oh, it's and about, enjoy it, it and it's a, because experience it's it. It's about anew. us. Yeah. That's it's about us. I think we did pretty well on this big old I boat. I love it. This was yeah. wonderful. I, I wish would. it was New York because I could point out some of my landmarks. Yeah, we'll go, you know what? You know? Next time you're there, we'll go to the South Bronx. Oh, point out all the spots. That would be the greatest. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, that would be the greatest. I'd love that. South Bronx made me. It made me, mm. that place. It's why I survived. Mm. I loved it. Even more than Manhattan. You had a pretty good mom, too, didn't you? Yeah, my mom <laughs> was, was, was wild, but she was great. Yeah. You know, I, and that's what you, you know, you, that, my grandfather was phenomenal. I loved him so, and my mother was great. She saved me a lot. Mm. I once was was doing it. They were doing it, honoring me. Something. I was in my fifties, and I was looking in the mirror, shaving. I just thought, my my mom saved my life. Mm. Oh no! Just some hey, fans. Man, hi. Life is in New York. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Could she have been more New York? When neighbors in New York. See how much the hat helps. <laughs> This is so strange, you know, to talk to you, to get to know you, to it's enjoy great. your company in this environment. Oh, it, it it's is. It's outrageous. It is. <laughs> I've enjoyed every second of Me it. Me too. It's I, a I really, privilege. I really love you. It's great to be with you, I must say. This may be my, what do they call it, swan song. No. But I love it. Your swan song. Oh, on these interviews. On these yeah, this is it. Shut it down. It, it, <laughs> well, how does anything compare to this? If someone would have told me one day, I'd be with Willie Geist here, my, my compatriot, my we'll, friend. We'll get you another car and we'll drive around the Bronx. I love this. And story. they'll be shouting at you. Oh, yes. We're going to do that. It's one I owe you, okay? Okay. 
if I get out here, I'll be going to the flower shop, which is yeah, where I, I always go. One more block, I think. Oh, is that right? Your spot? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> There's a place, they have it, they call it Greek yogurt. Yeah. I don't know. I've never heard of such a thing. But they say it has no sugar. So you start eating it. You know, who doesn't love ice cream? You know, sure. it's, it's my... And it's over once you start eating it. It doesn't really taste that good. But it's purple and it's pink and it's chocolate and it's green. And you just keep eating it. You're trying to find it. You're trying to find the ice cream somewhere in that yogurt. And you can't. It's a bait and switch. It's bait and switch. They tell you it's ice cream. And it never shows up. It never shows up. And you look for it and you're 400 pounds. And that's it. And they've got you. That's uh, my life. This is so cool. What a blast. Thank you for oh, doing this. Really, this was great. You in, were, our, in our language, they call it being a good sport. <laughs> oh, you're the good sport here, man. This, oh, is, is, good. this is above and beyond. You know, uh, the Steinfeld, has, uh, Steinfeld has a show where he does this. I know. It's I, called the com com Comedians, Comedians in Cars Comedians Getting Comedians Coffee. In cars getting coffee. And that's that. Willie, you're funny and you're great and I love you. What a pleasure. Thank My you so pleasure. much, Al. Thank you. <laughs> no, they won't let me out. <laughs> I can get out I, on my own initiative. This is uh, a new life. 